Hello, today we are going to see the excretory system of hirudinaria that is leech. The basic unit of excretory system of leech is nephridia. The excretory system of leech consists of 17 pairs of nephridia. They are arranged from 6 to 22nd segments, one pair in each segment. The nephridia are of two types, testicular and pretesticular. The last 11 pairs of nephridia which show contact with testis sac are called as testicular nephridia, whereas the first 6 pairs which do not show contact with testis sac are called as pretesticular nephridia. First we will see testicular nephridia. These are last 11 pairs of nephridia present from 12th to 22nd segments showing contact with testis sac. Hence these are called as testicular nephridia. Now we will see structure of testicular nephridia. Now this is the complex structure of testicular nephridia and body wall showing nephridiopore. A typical testicular nephridium is a horseshoe shaped structure. Each nephridium consists of the following six parts. First main loop, this is main loop. Second vesicle and vesicle duct, this is vesicle and vesicle duct. Third apical loop, this is apical loop. Fourth inner loop, this is inner loop. Fifth initial loop, this is initial loop and sixth ciliated organ. Here you can see ciliated organ. Now we will see each part of nephridium one by one. First the main loop. It forms the major part of the nephridium. It looks like a horseshoe. It is ventrolateral in position and lies in between two adjacent cica of the crop. It consists of two unequal limbs, anterior and posterior limbs. The anterior limb is longer and posterior limb is shorter. Cells of main lobe are big and polyhedral in shape. The second part is vesicle and vesicle duct. A narrow vesicle duct arises from the ventral end of longer anterior limb of main lobe and runs posteriorly to open into a large thin wall bladder called terminal vesicle. It is situated ventrolaterally behind the rest of nephridium. The vesicle is large oval sac bounded with a non-contractile thin wall. It opens outside through a short and narrow excretory duct called as nephridiopore which we have seen in figure 1. The spinter muscles are located at the junction of vesicle and excretory duct. These muscles regulate the outflow of excretory substances. The vesicle is non-contractile and its internal epithelium is non-ciliated. Third is Apical lobe. The posterior limb of the main lobe continues to form a stout apical lobe. It lies in an anterior posterior position beneath the crop. Its anterior end is slightly swollen and bent on itself like the handle of a walking stick. The cells of apical lobe are big. Fourth is inner or recurrent loop. 
it lies in the concavity of the main lobe and also runs forward along the outer side of the apical lobe for above half of its length fifth is initial lobe this lobe is very long narrow cord like structure it is composed of single row of elongated hollow cells it remains coiled around apical lobe its posterior end joins the main lobe while its anterior free end runs inward up to the testis sac and blindly ends near the perinephrostomial ampulla sixth is ciliated organ this is a structure of ciliated organ and single funnel ciliated organ lies inside the perinephrostomial ampullae it remains suspended from the inner walls of the ampullae by four or five strands or trabeculae it is a modified and compound structure it consists of a spongy central rhizovir and peripheral ciliated funnels the rhizovir is a perforated spongy chamber it contains a central mass of connective tissue cells and an outer wall of a single layer of cells the wall contains numerous pores each ciliated funnel is like an ear loop having a ciliated broad distal free end and a narrow proximal neck which fits into a pore situated on the wall of rhizovir in the embryo ciliated organ has a distinct cellular connection with the nephridium but in adult it loses its connection and excretory function and becomes a part of the hemocilomic system by producing silomic capsules so far we have seen about the various parts of testicular nephridium like the horseshoe shaped main lobe the bladder like vesicle a narrow vesicle duct the inner lobe in the concavity of the main lobe the walking stick like apical lobe and a cord like structure that is the inial, initial lobe which ends in the testis sac and the ciliated organ and the perinephrostomial ampullae now we will see about pretesticular nephridia four six pairs of nephridia situated in 6 to 11 segments are called as pretestricular nephridia because these segments do not contain testis sac there are no perinephrostomial ampullae and ciliated organs the initial lobe of nephridia terminates into loose connective tissue of body wall instead of testis sac except these features rest of the structure of pretestricular nephridia is same as testicular nephridia now we will see about histology of nephridium the lobes of nephridium are formed of mass of gland cells gland cells contain minute intracellular ductules which open into a wider intracellular central canal the central canal leaves the main lobe as vesicle duct a nephridium is richly supplied with hemocilomic capillaries now we will see about the physiology of excretion nephridium is both osmoregulatory and excretory in function excess of water and nitrogenous waste are excreted out by the nephridium nephridial gland cells separate the waste products chiefly ammonia from the hemocilomic fluid the excretory fluid is finally collected in the vesicle and excreted out through the nephridio pore leach excretes hypoosmotic urine the salts are reabsorbed from the urine by the nephridial tissues 
here we have finished about the excretory system of leech thank you